Thank you very much for making a date on Business Life. Let's start with a summary of the day's news. Pensioners who are yet to do the Social Security and National Insurance Trust NIT biometric registration have up to Friday, January 31, 2020 to complete the exercise or they will have their names deleted from the pension roll. According to SNIT, once a pensioner's name was deleted, he or she would not have access to his or her monthly pension, adding that the trust wanted to avoid paying pensions to undeserved persons. The collection of value-added tax VAT will be automated by the second quarter of this year, the Ghana Revenue Authority GRA has stated. The measure will involve linking the teller systems, including point-of-sale POS devices of VAT-eligible companies and supermarkets, to ensure that the tax is credited directly to the GRA at the point of purchase. Ghana's Register of Companies has more than 1 million entities in its database, yet less than half of the registered firms are in active operation and complying with the Companies Act, the Registrar General, Mrs. Jimai Mowari, has said. The development is a dent on the credibility of the Register, Mrs. Owari told the graphic business, but said a cleanup exercise had been scheduled later this year to read the records of dormant and non-compliant companies and report confidence in the registry. The UK has decided to let Huawei continue to be used in its 5G networks, but with restrictions, that spice pressure from the US to block the firm. The Chinese firm will be banned from supplying kits to sensitive parts of the network, known as the core. In addition, it will only be allowed to account for 35% of the kit in a network's periphery, which includes radio mast, and it will be excluded from areas near military bases and nuclear sites. Airbus says it has agreed a settlement with French, British and US authorities following lengthy investigations into allegations of bribery and corruption. In a statement, the European plainmaker said the deal was subject to approval by courts in the three countries. The allegations have centered on the use of middlemen in plane sales. Details have not been revealed, but reports suggest that Airbus based in Toulouse in southwest France could pay more than 3 billion euros in fines.